not my dunk, but we can call it that. I'll take it. It's absolutely pouring right now. Woo, so hopefully I can go to the gym soon. Hey, that's my book. Okay. This book is fantastic. No more stair run for the OGs, but maybe this little path will be my new dunk day run thing. What? Ah. Okay, that's dangerous. Time with this song! Yeah. Woo! What a life! Been a fantastic couple days. The only problem with the dunk journey 2.0 right now is I could probably go dunk every single day. I recently quit my job, which meant I had to go into an office. Now I don't. I'm a free man and it's now tough to not go dunk every single day. So we're headed today to go dunk. Today's feels are as follows. Yo, so I actually went to a sports massage therapist rehab center yesterday for my hamstring. I learned a lot. So I do want to invest in myself in that area, but I just don't know if someone walking me through the exercise is what I need. I need more of the massage side of things. Energy, energy. One of the big things I learned is that I breathe a lot in my chest. Energy, energy, energy. And if I breathe in my core, energy, energy, yeah. It uses more of my core so my legs don't have to recruit as much muscle. Energy, 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 energy. When I'm stretching them, when I'm using them. So I need to practice how to breathe through my core. <laughs> Energy, energy, energy. Ow. Selly bounce. First of all, I didn't coin that term. I blame Andy for naming it that. It's not my dunk, but we can call it that. I'll take it. So I went hard with it. I'll take that. I made it stylish. I'll take that. But people have been doing it forever. I'm not going to name people who have done it. But uh, is the timing. Timing is everything with this dunk. It's super easy. It puts the ball right by the rim. The number one problem I see with people doing the self bounce dunk is they don't bounce it hard enough because they're always catching it like this and then bringing it up. So you just bounce it hard, so you're, go so you're going for it. The timing is as follows. Hey yo, this is voiceover linguistic Steve. So what you're gonna wanna do is bounce it right before your arm swing and your penultimate. So the ball is going up right before you take off and you go up with the ball. Just practice it, try the timing, record yourself. The way I do it is I just run full speed and right before I take my penultimate, I bounce it hard so I can get a full arm swing and I just bounce it right by the rim. Yeah, I just said that. Just worry about the timing first and then the placement will come. You just wanna kinda of just bounce it. You don't even need the ball. Just run with the ball and get comfortable bouncing it and then jumping at the rim. Bounce the ball and then get a full jump. Then the timing of the bounce and the jump is perfect. And then all you gotta do is place the, the bounce. So place it right by the rim. Place it where you want, place it for a windmill and the placement. So timing and placement, pretty simple, yeah. Yo, here comes some details, baby, okay. One thing that I like to start with is the bounce right there. That bounce right there, I like, it gets me in a rhythm. Now here's the number one key. This bounce right here, I bounce it hard, so it goes high, and I'll explain that in a second, but I bounce it, and here's the number one trick, which is bouncing it right as I go into my arm swing, okay? So as you see, I bounced it as I'm going into my arm swing, and then I'm jumping as the ball's going up, and I absolutely destroy it, okay? And now, do you have to get this hype every time? Yes, or else you're doing it wrong. Now, here's another angle, okay? Same dunk, different angle, and what's happening is this. 
You see me bounce it right before my arm swing. You see my penultimate coming now right here. Perfect timing. I'm going up with the ball. As the ball's going up, I'm going up. And that's the timing you want. And now look at the placement. The placement, the ball's right in front of the rim. Makes it super easy to just go up with it, catch it, and yeah, meh. Okay. Now, another word on placement right here. Same dunk, different angle, camera angle, I mean, because I'm a cinematographer, bro. Okay, so I'm bouncing it right here. Now, this is what I want you to notice. I bounce it right there, but look how much it travels to the left. It's traveling from here all the way right in front of the rim. And then it's just too easy, okay? So remember that. Sometimes you have to run fast with it, and you run fast, and it travels with you, and you dunk it like that. Dunk it hard, okay? Dunk it with a little bit of swag, like friggin' like, friggin like this, okay? Yeah, okay, but now what I want you to work on is running full speed. So my first advice would be practice running full speed, bouncing it hard, and don't even mind where the ball goes. Just bounce it hard and attack the rim with a big penultimate so you can get your full jump and time it with your bounce. So don't worry about where the ball goes and where placing it. Just get the run. Just get the run down where you can bounce it hard and jump at the rim full approach. Because once you can do that, you just bounce it hard and you can go get the ball. For instance, like so. This is why I like bouncing it high and going to get it. You tell me if this sucks. Yeah! Okay, so what did I do right here? This is what I like about jump making it go high. When you bounce it low, you can go for tricks. But I like this dunk to go up for it because it forces me into good jumping mechanics. What do I mean? What does Steve mean? Okay, just like the backboard dunk, the ball is going up so fast. I don't have time to do anything but stay upright. Look, I'm already looking at it like, oh god, it's going away from me. I need it. I need it. My head is upright, my torso is upright, and I go for that ball. I go and I reach, and it makes me go super upright with my jump, which forces me into good jump mechanics, which I love because I need those cues in my jumping. Now look, I reach for that thing, and like, oh, I'm used to reaching for stars, and yeah, I grab the star and push the punch into the moon. Now here's another one where I go with two hands. Same thing, same... God, he's so freaking exciting to watch. Okay, so... Bounce it super high, almost too high, but it makes me jump and go get it, and I almost have to wait for it. Now, that's okay. Maybe not the most optimal. Made for a really interesting dunk, but what I love about it is it when I go really fast and I bounce it really hard, it makes me super aggressive just go get it, and it puts it right by the rim, makes it super easy. Now, talking about the swag here, yeah. can you teach that? I don't know how. Can you work on it? Yes. Should you attack the rim like this every single time? Undubitably, okay? Go for it, push it. Yeah, okay, have fun with it, okay? Here's my boy Tyler doing the same thing. He doesn't do it wrong, but he can make it even more efficient that makes it easier. He bounces a little bit early, so he goes into his penultimate a little bit later. The ball's coming down. He dunks it reverse. It's really nice, and there's nothing wrong with it, but he can come in a little bit faster, dunking a little, p bounce it a little later, so he can jump with the ball and really do something a little bit like... Yee! Okay, now here's what's great about it. After all that, after you get the placement down, the timing down, it makes it a very easy dunk, but people don't know that. So people that don't know you still get excited by this little white thing. Oh, okay, oh, okay, he's 5'10", what? I can't believe it's a dunk day. I didn't see this coming for a while. With this self-bounce dunk, I make it look easy because it's the one I've mastered. I've practiced it for so many years and I use a lot of my arm swing and I have the ball in my hand. It's too easy. I just want you to know that it takes time, it takes practice. And don't give up, give it a lot of tries. Get the timing down, practice a ton. Anybody that you see doing something with a high level of skill, it took a lot of time. I'm not kidding, my stomach is killing me. I don't know what happened. MCT oil maybe? I don't know. It hurts, I haven't had a tummy ache in years. I don't remember the last, I don't know, I took a shit. Maybe I'll go to the gym later, but I was gonna be a fun day, but positives are that maybe it's good that I rest because I was antsy to go and I needed maybe a little bit more rest, so maybe I'll rest up, but ugh, it's really killing me, I just feel like Every when I lean over, it feels better. So I'm literally doubled over. Why am I filming? I don't know. Vlog, vlog life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.